Hey, Ian, good news. I found some blazes. Oh. Okay, so we've got an aqua blaze, long path, a blue circle, and then two red ones. So, hey, that means we're on the Schwangung Ridge Trail. So I think we're in good shape. Yeah, and I'm shape, pretty sure I remember this, this section. What a beautiful day, by the way, to be out for a training run, getting ready for the SRT race in September. And, uh, hey, there's an intersection here. We can go to the left or go to the right. And I've been here before. I'm trying to remember which way to go. What do you think, Ian? Well, I think it goes, I think we go straight to the left. You know, I'm pretty sure it goes to the right. All right. And, well, you know, I've been out here a thousand times. So let's go to the right. And um, I'm pretty good at navigation most of the time. And look, I found uh, a blaze. There's a red blaze. So I think, were we following a red blaze trail? Uh, no, we were following the blue blaze trail. But it matches your shirt. Well, that's just, you know, that's a coincidence. Okay, what are we what are we going to do if we're not sure? You think we should check the map? I think it's time to check our map. Okay. Okay, Ian, thanks for pulling out your free Avenza map with the SRT um, race map on it. What do you see? What do you think? Are we going the right way? So we came up the trail. Yep. And this is the blue dot. This is us. Okay. And we're basically that's... at the intersection. The red marker is is this one which goes off to the right which okay you followed yep uh and i think you made the mistake there <laughs> looks like the <laughs> SRT wouldn't be the first time <laughs> <laughs> looks like the srt was the straight yep and we should have stayed towards the left okay so what a handy map it's it's almost just like google maps it just shows you where you are i can see there's also uh water sources and in, in roads and things like that so helps you figure out where you're going and planning your run well, great, Ian. Thank you. You saved us uh, from going the wrong way and ending up what, who knows where. One of the really cool things is uh -huh. that this app does not rely on the net, the Wi-Fi, the cell phone network. This is a GPS chipset. Always will work. Cool. So even if there's no uh, cell coverage at all, right. you'll be able to see where you are. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, so I'm Ken Posner. I'm the race director for the SRT. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about why we give runners the app and why we don't mark the course. And by the way, if you haven't heard of the SRT, it's a race in the Schwangunk Mountains in September of each year. And we give you three divisions to choose from, the full epic 70 mile traverse of the entire Schwangunk uh, range, or a 30 mile option, or a half marathon. So there's a distance for everybody. But back to the question about marking the course, we don't mark the course. There are blazes you can see, and we give you this app so you know exactly where you are at all times. And part of what we're trying to do is create a little bit more of an adventure and promote the value of self-reliance. And we just think it's really good for runners to be able to manage themselves along the course. And, you know, sometimes it's not just the fastest person who wins, but the person who can sort of keep themselves together. So as I just showed you, the app is simple. It's as simple as Google Maps. I hope you can come out and join us in September. Promise you'll have a great experience. Folks, say hi to Ian Erne, who's one of the uh, ambassadors for the SRT. Ian, you've been out, you've done the race seven times. Do you want to just share with people what what you like about the event and what keeps bringing you back? I, I love the aspect of the adventure of it, uh, self-navigating, self-reliance, and the challenge, and the fact that even an old guy can sometimes win. <laughs> <laughs> just because I don't, I may not get lost, and somebody who's younger and faster might. Anyway, it's a it's a fun enjoyable event with beautiful scenery. Hope to see you there. Thank you, Ian.